Hey guys, so um, I have these individual braids in, clearly. And you can also probably see how janky they look right now. Like, they look so old and just used and abused. And it's time for me to redo them. Um, I've been trying to upkeep my edges at least so that I'm not out here looking too crazy. But it's gotten to the point where I just need to redo my entire head. So that's what I'm going to do. Um... I did not record the process when I first put them in. Um, I just showed like kind of like quick snippets of myself doing it on Instagram. But a lot of you afterwards were like, did you record it? Did you record it? And I was like, I seen it. So I decided this time around, I will record the process because I am going to be redoing them. This was my first time ever doing individuals on my entire head. I usually do the crochets in the middle and then individuals around the outside but this is my first time doing the entire head it took me about six hours to do this the first time so um i'm i don't think it'll take that long this time because i will not need to do all the extra parting because i'm going to save my parting spots by doing that rubber band method i didn't do the rubber band method on these but this next go around i'm going to do the rubber band method that way i can hold on to my parts because i am going to be reusing this hair um because it'll I've had these in for a month I want to redo them for another month and then when I put them back in again after that I will buy a new batch of hair if you feel my drift so yeah that's what's gonna happen what I'm actually gonna do is just take these braids out um, when I get back from work cause that's where I'm headed I'm gonna take these braids out and keep them in those individual sections rubber band and then I will show you all me putting them in yeah okay <laughs> All right, so last night I obviously took the braids out and now everything is sectioned, rubber band out. Um, like I said, I was keeping it. I'm basically doing the rubber band method this time around so that I can keep the sections that I have. So yeah, my whole head sectioned. It probably doesn't really look like it, <laughs> but everything sectioned. What I did when I took out my braids was lay everything out in the row so I started out by taking out the bottom row and then I laid that section out then the row after that laid those braids out just until I was finished that way I can um, also keep the hair with the same section it was with does that make sense and just to make this put in process a lot easier so that's what I did and that's what I'm gonna do right now I don't know that didn't make sense but yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna start by just Parting away all of the hair that I will not be working with yet because I'm starting from the bottom. And on the bottom, I have three braids. Here is the first braid that was taken out last night. And we're just going to put it in right back where it was. <laughs> I'm sorry if y'all can't see me, I'm trying my bestest. So wrapping that. This is also not a braiding tutorial. Um, I learned from watching YouTube videos. So um, just wrapping that section around my section. And then we're gonna start braiding it. Now I'm going to turn around. We still have my natural hair in the braid. And I have to start feeding more braid into my natural hair section. Just like this. Like I said, this isn't really like a tutorial because I'm not necessarily showing y'all how to braid it but I mean I'm I'm more of a visual learner than somebody t actually talking about it so this might help some people out <laughs> I had about I think I used six packs of hair in total. Six or seven. It wasn't eight. It was six or seven. 
and I think in total I have like 38 braids on my head and I love how long these are because they go all the way down to my heel and stuff I hate with my glasses glare but here is the completed first braid And then that's what I'm just going to keep doing over and over again. <laughs> Three and a half to 3.45. Um, it takes longer when I'm filming. <laughs> I got it done under the time that I wanted to get it done. So that's a good thing. All I have left to do is just dip these ends to give it just a clean finish. Um, and stuff. I don't like to burn the ends. I feel like it looks too fake when they're burnt. Which is why I like to dip them in hot boiling water. Uh, but uh, it's so nice to have like clean clean braids and be able to see my scalp and stuff Cause yeah my braids was just looking janky But yeah I got to go on ahead and boil these So I'm gonna go and boil some water on the stove real quick Alright So I have the water all boiled Right here I'm just gonna pour it into this cup and just do one side at a time can y'all see the cup okay and then i have a towel too because it's gonna be a dripping mess and i just dip it inside I just go like this a few times. Ow! 
the water is really hot so be careful <laughs> i don't know how that hair came out but that was really hot and i just dip let it sit a little bit let it come out <laughs> it's so hot This is where you grab your towel and get ready to grab the hair as it slides out. Make sure to pat it like going downwards. can basically see like how clean you can see how clean the ends are now